So hello and welcome to the second lecture on statistics where we are going to discuss random variables. So in the previous lecture we saw that random variables basically describe the mapping between some sample space and uh, usually the space of real numbers. So we have as random variables a mapping between some sample space S going into the space of real numbers R. Uh, so in the previous lecture we discussed a particular random experiment which was the, the, the uh, flip of a coin two times in a row and this time we are going to consider another example, another random experiment which is the roll of a die. So basically the outcomes of the roll of a die are numbers between uh, 1 and 6 according to their uh, six different faces. So the sample space here, roll of a die, S, has six different elements going from 1 over to 2, 3, 4, 5, and the last one, of course, is 6. So basically, uh, this um, random experiment has six different elements. So we have six different elements, the singletons going from 1 to up to 6. And in this particular case, it is quite natural to associate to the random uh, variable um, a particular number. So basically the mapping between the sample space or the elements of the sample space into the uh, set of real numbers is quite easy and quite natural because the, the die has six different faces so we just take the six different numbers. So having the uh, singleton 1 for instance we have we define as random variable x equals 1. Basically for the element um, singleton 2 we just take for x random variable x equals 2 and then x equals 3 for the third element, 4 for the fourth element and 5 for the fifth element and the last one of course the sixth, sixth element. So now we uh, assume that our die is fair so basically that means that uh, the outcomes are equally likely to occur so when we roll the die we say for instance that the chances to get a 6 is the same as the chances to get a 3 because we assume that the, the die uh, is, is, is fair. So basically, what does that mean? Working out the probabilities, here again, this boils down to a simple counting exercise where we just have to put um, the number of elements uh, that we have uh, for the first singleton, it's one of course, uh, divided by the total number of elements contained within the sample space. So basically here, for x equals 1, we have one element, 1, divided by the sample space, which has six elements, 6. Same for the second element, which is again one element divided by the sample space 6. Third uh, random variable, same thing, and for the others of course also the same thing. So each time we have as probability 1 sixth. So basically at the level of the elements we recover here the sample space of the roll of a die. So basically this is the sample space. And we have the associated random variables to the elements of the sample space. So basically, in this time, x is contained um, within going from 1 to 6. So basically, we have x belongs to the subset going from 1 to 6. And of course, this subset is included or belongs to the total set of real numbers. At the level of probabilities, we saw that it's important that when we take the probabilities of all the different elements of the sample space to recover the number one, because basically uh, a probability is a number contained between zero and one. So when we take all the probabilities of all the elements contained within the sample space, we have to recover the total probability, which is one, of course. So basically here we have sum going from k equals zero to six of probability of the random variable equal x equals k is 6 times 1 sixth, which is of course 1. So basically this concludes the second lecture on statistics. Um, looking forward to seeing you again in the next video where we are going to um, introduce the probab probability mass function.